Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Former President, now Pampanga Representative Gloria Arroyo, supports President Rodrigo Duterte's declaration of a state of lawlessness. Arroyo says, quote, It's the right thing to do since there's a national threat following the deadly Davao City blast. Arroyo declared a state of lawless violence during her presidency after three mosques were bombed in Davao City in 2003. Arroyo says lifting the order will depend on the recommendation of the security forces. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte offers a 2 million peso reward for information on suspects behind a deadly blast in Davao. The explosion killed at least 14 and injured at least 70 Friday night. We prepared the city government of Davao yesterday. Uh, 1 million to whoever uh, can give us the information kung anong pangalan at nasaan ngayon uh, yung tao na gumawa ng bombing. And then another million for kung sino man ang makadeliver sa amin ng tao. Ihatid din nyo sa amin po. Sasa ninyo, ihatid din nyo sa amin uh, sa Davao City Police Office. The mayor, the daughter of President Rodrigo Duterte, says authorities want the suspects alive. We want him alive. Um, um, we emphasize that. We want him alive because we want to talk to him. Kusino ang mga kasama niya, anong grupo sila. And uh, gusto namin malaman kung ano pa yung mga plano nila ng mga terrorist activities. And then uh, gusto din namin malaman kung well, bakit. The Philippine National Police's war on drugs reaches Makati's wealthiest. 20 policemen and four anti-drug agents distributed flyers as part of Oplan Tokhang in Magallanes and Forbes Park Villages, Monday, September 5. The policemen were mostly met by house help who promised to give the flyers to their employers. Under Oplan Tokhang, the police go house to house and knock on the doors of suspected drug users and pushers. Tokhang is a contraction of Visayan words Tok Tok or to knock and Hangyo, which means request. As of September 4, more than 680,000 people surrendered under Oplan Tokhang. Six people were killed in the Duterte administration's war on drugs since July 1. <laughs> The Department of Health says a woman from Iloilo City tested positive for the Zika virus. DOH says the woman is the sixth laboratory-confirmed case of Zika in the Philippines since 2012. She's married and is in her mid-40s. DOH says the patient's husband will also be tested since the Zika virus can also spread through sexual contact. Zika, which resembles a light case of flu, is transmitted by mosquitoes found in tropical and subtropical regions. The disease causes birth defects like micro Microcephaly and other brain deformities in newborn. The giant panda makes it out of the endangered species list. The International Union for Conservation of Nature upgrades the panda status from endangered to vulnerable after its population increased. The latest estimates put the panda population at 1,864 adult giant pandas, with the projection reaching around 2,000 if cubs are added. The IUCN says evidence indicates, quote, the previous population decline has been arrested and the population has started to increase. That's your day's top news. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. Remember, tomorrow begins today.